For the second season in a row, Bill's Mafia preparing to invade Kansas City for a playoff game. And just like for last year's AFC Championship, fans are setting up a massive tailgate. It will be in the same spot as last year. It's right nearby the stadium in this private lot. That way, Bill's faithful can start the party at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning instead of having to wait for the official stadium lots to open later in the afternoon. I was at that tailgate a year ago. Here's a small sampling of what we witnessed. The crowd was sizable from the start and quickly grew into a massive mob of mafia. We organize it through social media. Jenna Marasco called it Lot X. It quickly sold out. Bill's Mafia, like we're all family. We just want to be together and tailgate and have fun. And that was another reason why we set up this tailgate was so we could all just be together. And though we're almost a thousand miles from Bill's stadium, it felt and looked like home. <laughs> And joining us now is Jenna Marasco, who we interviewed in part of that story that you just saw. She was again organizing Tailgate X in Kansas City. Jenna, I got to tell you, it was pretty epic last year. I was there. I know that you sold out and you expect the same this time around. Uh, if I'm a fan who's watching from home right now and I'm planning to go out to Kansas City, what do I need to do in order to make sure I make it to your tailgate? Um, you want to just follow our Instagram. It's lot underscore X underscore tailgate. And all the information for um, prepaid passes for the cars um, is on there. You're just going to Venmo. And um, you just show up on the day of the game at 10 a.m. Our gates are open. Yeah, you open at 10 a.m. I know not wasting any time for the stadium lots to open. They're hours later. Who's got time for that uh, when you're a Bills fan in Kansas City? Um, I want to ask, you know, last year Arrowhead Stadium was limited to 17,000 fans in the stands, a little over 20 percent. Uh, no restrictions this time around. So even though this isn't the conference championship game, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if we don't see even more Bills fans making the trip, which is crazy because, you know, Buffalo took over Kansas City last January. I'm sure that was your experience. It was certainly mine. What do you expect generally to see there this weekend? I mean, I expect a Bills takeover. Uh, we're here for revenge. We're all going to wear blue, take over all their red. I mean, there's a lot of Bills fans going, especially now without the restrictions. I see just in my newsfeed right now on Facebook, just hundreds of people saying like they're going to the game and it's not even the AFC conference. So it's insane. Yeah, for people who are kind of making their plans, uh, we've heard from people who have already bought plane tickets, which are getting kind of more and more expensive. Uh, a lot of people are road tripping it just like they did last time around. Uh, what has been your strategy in, in mapping out your plans and getting your hotel room? And then, of course, you're also organizing this tailgate at the same time. Well, we made it easier this year with the tailgate by creating an Instagram account for it. So it doesn't have to go through my personal social media now. Um, but we're going to fly this time instead of drive down. Uh, make it a little bit easier than a 15 hour drive there and a 15 hour drive back home. Um, and we didn't do a hotel. We did an Airbnb, so made it a little bit easier. Yeah, different plans uh, this time around for a lot of people because again, fewer restrictions. Uh, I know that there are a lot of plans beyond just the tailgate, uh, but thanks so much for coming on and and walking us through that. Jenna Marasco has been our guest. She is the organizer of Tailgate X, which again, as we showed you in some of the video there, uh, it was just incredible to see so many Bills fans so far away from home uh, really showing their pride. Jenna, thanks for coming on and good luck this weekend. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for watching the Town Hall. Stay right there, though. Scott and Mary Alice are back with Channel 2 News at 6 after this.